Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and this video is going to show the fastest classes in terms of top speed as of the Arena War update. As always, the position counter is in the top left with the average top speed for each class in the top right. And if you're interested in the performance of all vehicles in the game, check the playlist link in the description or the pinned comment alongside the lap time testing series. If you want to know more information about this testing, including the extent to which it's accurate and how useful it is for you personally, have a read of the full description as everything that you need is in there. And for the performance of any future vehicle additions, feel free to subscribe for new testing videos every Thursday and check out my Patreon or become a YouTube member if you'd like to support me and get the these testing results early. So just like we saw with the lap time testing version of this video, we are basically taking the top speeds of every single vehicle in each class, which I have tested all 544 vehicles, both for lap time and top speed. And uh, so for example, for utility vehicles, we've got 18 vehicles in the class. You add up all of their top speeds for all of those 18 vehicles, divide by 18, and you get the average top speed for the utility vehicles class. And then I'm ranking them based on that average top speed for each class. So. In, in, it's it's quite similar to the lap time testing video that we saw last week where there's the, the collection of vehicles in certain areas as we go through the list is the same but the order within those collections are different for example the bottom four in this video are also the same as the bottom four for lap time but they're in different orders and as we saw it's the cycles class that is the slowest when it comes to top speed as an average with only a top speed an average top speed across all the cycles of 39.7 miles per hour then we've got boats and industrial and utility even though they're held back by the super slow vehicles like the dozer and the uh the, the lawnmower they're still you know there's enough there to make them above cycles and boats so interesting that you know that the way that this list is is going to be shown is is slightly different to what we saw from lap time but overall the general location of things doesn't change all that much because you know if a vehicle has a high top speed it's probably not too bad around a lap and if you've got a lot of vehicles in a class that aren't that great in terms of top speed they're also not going to do that great around the lap either especially when you're considering averages so we're getting up to as we get as we close into the top 10 we're getting towards the 100 mile per hour average top speed barrier i guess you could say and that's not bad you know we've got off-road class here in 12th place with a 99.2 mile per hour average top speed for the entire class and that's not too bad um that that's kind of on the level of say where the top level of vans are but obviously we've got a long way to go before we get to the very top uh kind of top speeds that you see from supercar sports cars things like that now these here's where something's a little bit different again as we saw from the lap time testing video we had previously the compacts class actually beating out sedans and suvs but it doesn't do that for top speed so they're better in terms of cornering and, and la average lap time than they are relatively for top speed however they are all in very similar locations they're all grouped together so we've got sedans in 10th place here with 103.3 miles per hour we've just seen compacts and then just after this we're going to be seeing the suvs class which is pretty close as well so you know whether you're looking at lap time or top speed when you've talk, you know, when you're talking about the the average performance of these vehicles some of these classes are actually very similar and very well balanced between them now one thing to point out is that the vehicle that you see on screen for each class is the vehicle that has its top speed closest to the average top speed for that class so for example the fq2 its top speed is the closest of all suvs to 130 to 103.9 mile per hour which is the average top speed for the suvs class the same is true for the saber table here this is the basically the most average muscle car you can get in terms of top speed and that is true for all the other classes in the game interestingly the trash master and i believe the scorcher as well are the only two vehicles that are the same for top speed as they are for lap time those are definitely bang on the most average although the stinger gt was very close to being in both of the lists uh, as a av pretty average sports classic car speaking of muscle and sports classic cars we've got them very very close together the muscle average top speed was 111.1 miles per hour and the sport classics average top speed is 111.3 miles per hour so very close exactly what we saw with the the lap time testing video as well the sport classics and muscles classes are very very close and, and very share very similar vehicles now 
might be a little bit of a surprise to see the motorcycles class in 6th place with 115 mile per hour for its average top speed, not even making it into the top 5. And it's because there's just so many motorcycles that are pretty unimpressive. Even with the wheeling and all that kind of stuff to make them quicker, yes the very best motorcycles are very very quick, but there's a lot of motorcycles that are just pretty average to be honest and that brings down that average top speed overall. Now for the coupes class, 115.2 mile per hour only just beating the motorcycles class into the top 5 for the same reasons as before where there's just there aren't any majorly quick vehicles in the coupes class but there's also not very many very slow vehicles that bring down that average and there's only 14 vehicles overall anyway so pretty impressive for the coupes class uh, to get up into fifth place but a little bit behind the sports class again as we saw from lap time with 117.6 mile per hour for the average top speed of the sports class that's pretty good considering there's 60 vehicles in the class you do have a lot of really slow vehicles but then you've also got things like the pariah bringing that uh, top speed up a little bit as well Third place for the supercars class, probably no surprise, and our top three are exactly the same as what we saw from the lap time testing video. It's the values that are important in this, at this point. 124.4 mile per hour for the supercars class, which makes the Adder the bang on average top speed vehicle for the supercars class, um, with its top speed of also 124.8 mile per hour, I believe. You know, the Addo was always back in the day what said to be one of the quickest vehicles, and it always was for the, it was the quickest supercar in terms of top speed at least. But uh, yeah, there's certainly been a lot of vehicles added since then that have usurped it and brought up that average top speed. It's it's quite incredible that the average top speed for the entire supercars class now is the same as what the previous best used to be for the supercars class. But we saw helicopters in second place and no surprise that we have planes in the lead. In first place, the average top speed of all the planes is 159.2 miles per hour, which is pretty damn quick, you know. Same as what happened with the lap time testing, the average top speed of all the planes in the game is actually quicker than anything that any car or even land vehicle can achieve, even the very quickest. So you know very similar story but it's been interesting to go through these again and see how they differ for top speed in comparison to the lap time if you haven't seen the lap time version of this uh, it's obviously linked in the playlist which is linked down below in the description but uh, here we can see the difference between the very quickest and the very slowest overall in the entire game first overall of the pyro um, both of the checkpoints that you see on the screen are actually exactly the same distance apart. So the pyro got from one checkpoint to the next in very, very quick time. And, you know, the dozer was just, so it's still got ages to go before it gets to that next checkpoint. And they're exactly the same distance apart. So that shows you the difference from the very top to the very bottom. Now, one final thing to look at is the average top speed across all 544 vehicles that are in the game. And that average top speed is 107.3 miles per hour. And there's actually two vehicles that are bang on that exact average top speed, the Bifter and the Enduro. So the Bifter from the off-roads class and the Enduro from the motorcycles class, they both have a top speed of 107.3 miles per hour, which basically makes those vehicles the most average vehicles in the entire game when it comes to we're talking about top speed and it's I, I thought that was a little bit low to be honest 107.3 for an average top speed because we do have a lot of vehicles that are you know over 110 120 miles per hour especially when you take into account all the helicopters and the planes which have even higher top speeds but then you know there are also a lot of vehicles that are slower as well um, and especially things like the dozer and the lawnmower I guess it makes sense that 107.3, just over 100 miles per hour really, is the uh, the average top speed when you take into account all 544 vehicles in the entire game. It's Hopefully this video has been interesting. Hopefully this and the lap time version of this video have been interesting. I'm you know, going to be doing more things like this when it comes to looking at the, the stats and the lap times and the top speeds in different ways, whilst also doing the basic stuff, you know, things like the best four-seater cars, things like that. 
But uh, yeah, hopefully it was interesting. Hopefully it was entertaining. That's the main purpose of this. And let me know your thoughts down below. Were there any main surprises that you didn't expect when you saw this list? So that's pretty much it for this video. Remember to read the description for more info, comment with your thoughts, like the video if you enjoyed or found it helpful, subscribe for more, and consider supporting on Patreon or becoming a member on YouTube. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.